All right, here we go, guys. Got a lock chest right here. All right, let's go ahead and get this, and let's hope for some sinew. What's up, Survivor Fanatics? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my subsistence Let's Play. Last video, we, we made a little outer deck over here with a plant grow bed. I've kind of been messing around putting this plant grow bed in different places, doing doing different things here and there. I think I actually want to put it on the ceiling today, uh, trying to get that light, you know, trying to get this light as high as possible, as early as possible. I have been keeping it up with fertilizer and water, and um, we're going to have some tomatoes relatively soon. But that's not what we're going to be concentrating on today. I think today what we're going to be doing is we're going to work on getting a workbench, okay? If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So I've been doing a lot of farming off camera. I'm just going to show you what I've been up to. Um, if you care about any of the stuff I'm showing you, just go ahead and pause the video. Um, as you can see right here, I did make a lock pick off camera. I've got a bunch of chickens, a bunch of fertilizer. I have like freaking 50 planks over here, 19 planks over here, but only 26 nails. That's why we need the workbench. The workbench is going to be important for us to build. The workbench is definitely going to be important for us to build. Let's see what we need for the workbench. All right, so we're going to need an electric. So we're going to need a recycle uh, mass fabricator. We, we already made that, right? Yeah. So we already have the mass fabricator. So what we're going to need next, what we're going to need next is power storage. Okay. So we just got to let that build up, let, let it do its thing, and we will leave it alone. All right. Uh, I wanted to do. I wanted to mess around with some building in this game a little bit, and um, I'm not really sure how much I want to do it on camera or not because. Uh, you know, when you're messing around with the building and it doesn't quite go the way you want, it kind of it kind of grinds the um, the video to a halt. Um, I will I might do a lot of it off camera. I might not. I'm not really sure. Right now, what I am going to do though is I'm going to make some wood foundations because I want a way to get on the roof. Okay. So what we're going to do right here is we are going to pick this up and move this thing. Okay. And uh, it doesn't matter where it goes. It's just uh, I was just kind of playing around with it off camera. And then we're going to wait for this one to be made, and we're going to put it down here, and number five, there we go, and then we're going to put a, a stairway here, number six, so how do we do this? Like that? That will kind of work, although it might be better, to, yeah, that works even better. Okay, now we can get up on our roof. And the reason I wanted to get up on the roof is because I wanted to move this plant bed onto the roof. Because I think it'll... Um, obviously, it'll get sun a lot easier on the roof. So, even if that... Even if the game doesn't count that, um, I would do it for role-playing purposes. But um, it, it might actually matter if it's on the roof or not. It might actually be getting more sun on the roof. If, if you figure when the sun's in a certain part of the sky, there's like a shadow here. And it's not going to get as much light depending on the angle of the sun. Up here, it's definitely getting... Uh, sun a lot easier so that is really nice that is really nice all right so we're gonna put that on the roof now do we want to make this deck like a real deck and not have it a plant grow deck i think i do um i was watching who was i watching i think i was watching uh we're gonna, okay we'll leave that there i was watching ono koho all right one of my old uh one of my old buddies I used to do multiplayer with, all right? And he made he was making these things where he was putting down foundations, and then he was putting foundations on top of them, and it looked really, really freaking sweet. So I'm going to try and do that right now. I was playing around with it during the night, and I got it to work once, but I couldn't get it to work any other time. And I'm not quite sure what we have to do to get this to kind of clip in here. I'm, I don't even know if I can do this. Um, it doesn't seem to be clipping in here at all. So I'm not even sure if I can do that. Um, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a regular wood foundation and try and put it in the middle because I got it in the middle. I'm not sure why I could do it in the middle and not on the sides. Maybe maybe you can't do it where there's a window, you think? I'm not really sure. All right, we're going to we're going to do a little bit of testing here. So, uh, let me take a look at this. I got the foundation right here. Okay. And we're going to clip that'll clip right in. See how that clips in? I'm not sure if that I'm not sure if it clips in there because because that's a, a wall maybe it, it wouldn't clip in if it's not a, if it's not a wall like if it's a window so let me uh pick this up right now but you can see what you do here it's really cool i really like it um can that clip in as a window no why don't we put this over here and then we'll pick it up again and then we'll see if we can clip it in on the part that's the window you might need a full wall in order for this to work so that is pretty freaking interesting if that is true okay so i'm gonna do this and can that clip in on the window i don't want to fall here no no it might be because it's a wall oh that's interesting okay okay well why don't we move this why don't we move this window and we'll move a wall over here and see if that makes any difference 
Just kind of playing around here. See what we can see. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I like that. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to put a wall there. So let's go ahead and grab this wall. The only time this will really be a problem is if we get raided. And we shouldn't be getting raided anytime soon. Because the hunters don't even know I'm here. I did see the hunters. But they didn't see me uh, while I was grinding earlier. Ooh, I didn't realize... I forgot the base command unit was there. So that's what happens when you pick up the wall that the base command unit's on. It just floats there. So that's pretty interesting. I'm glad I was... That, that could have destroyed it. That could have got destroyed or something. That would have made me cry. All right, whatever. Uh, let's go. Well, we see we don't need more nails, so we can't even make another wall. Okay. Well, whatever. All right. Well, this is only for testing purposes, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so now we're going to grab this and see if this will connect to the wall. If this connects to that wall, then you need walls and windows or what the problem was. If it doesn't connect to the wall, well, then I'm lost. Okay, so I'm not sure why that's not connecting. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong here, or if it's because it's on an angle, or if it's because it's a slope block. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Um, it must be because it's um, it must be because it's a curved block. That's the only thing I can think of. If you guys have any idea on why I could not get that to connect, um, just let me know in the comments. I'll bet you this one will connect though. Nope. See, that one won't connect either. See, so you, you need a proper wall there. I'm assuming because this one won't connect either. All right. Well. Let's just go ahead and move these back. Uh, we know one way that definitely works. So we're going to do the way that we know definitely it works. <laughs> and then we'll go out and do some uh, some grinding probably. Um, I'd really like to do some more building, but I'm, you know, I'm out of nails, man. There's not much I can do. Come on. Oh, no. Don't tell me. Uh, turn this around. Oh, don't. Okay. Is that the right way? I don't think so. I can't tell. Uh, you want you want it where the mm, you want it where those little block things are on the inside, and I yep that's the way. Okay, there we go. Okay, that worked out. We fixed it. All right, and then we'll just move this back. It's, actually, we don't need to move that back. Eh, it doesn't really matter. All right, let's bring this up. Man, I need more nails, guys. We're gonna have to go and do some farming. That freaking bear. There's a bear down there. What a punk ass. Freaking annoying bear. There we go. So I don't know why that clicks in there. I really don't. It's not the wall. I guess it's the wall and the fact that it's not a curve block. I really don't know. I don't understand that mechanic. I'm sure you guys, um, if anyone here knows that mechanic, they'll let me know in the comments. But we're going to get it to work here one way or another. So I guess it's irrelevant. I just kind of like to understand the way the game works. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this one right here. And now we have a little bit of uh, of an area here. That's pretty cool, right? I really like that. They need. I think. Um, I think uh, it would be pretty cool if Cold Games would add like little pillars we could put, so we didn't have to do this. But you know, for now that works pretty well, actually. Um, I really don't have any issues with it. I could actually move this stuff over here. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. All right. I don't think there's anything else we can do, guys. I think we need to go do some farming. We're down to two nails, so let's go do some farming. How about that? I'm trying to do more building and not like farm like every second of the freaking day, but it's just, it's just, it's really hard not to, you know? Um, I'm going to go ahead and have something to eat here. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this on. Let me grab some food because as you can see here, I could use some food and then I will go out and do some farming. Hey right, guys, let's go do some farming. See if we can get some uh, material. I'd really like to find a lock chest. I found two lock chests while grinding yesterday, which was, um... A bit disappointing. Uh, I actually could have I could have made a key and got one of them, but I don't like to get them off camera. And um, I was actually watching Games for Kick stream Seven Days to Die, so I couldn't really like I didn't want to like um, shut that down and get my recording stuff ready. I, I wasn't ready to record. Otherwise, I would have just recorded it like I did that one time. But that's okay. I'm sure we'll find more. Ooh, did I not bring all my arrows, or am I just out of arrows? I think I'm out of arrows. I killed quite a few animals yesterday. At one point, I killed two two rabbits like back to back like there was one rabbit sitting there i shot him right as i shot him i saw another rabbit like a couple feet away maybe not a couple feet away maybe a few yards away and then i turned i didn't even move i just turned i pivoted and i got him with an arrow right after it like two two dead rabbits man it was awesome it was freaking awesome all right i don't go up here much so i think this would be a good place to go a little bit worried about cougars but uh, i think we'll be okay as long as we don't go too close to the mountains. I really don't know anything about the cougars or where they end up. Uh, where they prowl. But <laughs> I will hope not to see one. That would be wonderful if I could not see one. 
I'd be really happy about that. Level three something over there. That's a bear. Um, level ugh, too much stuff up. Too many too many animals up here. I think I'm gonna turn around. It's it's funny. Like um, this is the second time in a row that I've been turned away by animals. Um, and who knows, man? They might be saving me from cougars. You know, maybe the animals are chasing me out, and there's a cougar over there, and I'm like, you know, if I kept going, I would have gotten eaten. That would have sucked. There we go. Gotta be careful. The uh, the the hunter's base is right over there. So, oh no, that's my base. We've got to be really close to. That. Oh, there's the hunter base. See the fire? And they're definitely building a base over there. So we will uh, not go near that. Once they see me and they know I'm here, I don't think I have to fight them in order for them to raid me. I've had um, I, they, there's these there's two kinds of hunters. There's hunters that that stay in one place and build a base. And then there's rogue hunters. Rogue hunters kind of move around um, and build fires and stuff, but they don't really they don't really make any bases or anything. And they're supposed to be easier than the regular hunters, right? Um, so I don't. Those are the kind of hunters that build. Um, but the thing is, like last last uh, uh, last season, I actually got jumped by some rogue hunters, and I, I fought back. And for some reason, I, do the rogue hunters raid? I don't think the rogue hunters raid. I don't know how they would have raided me anyway. I killed them. <laughs> they attacked me and I killed them. And then I got raided later on. I thought only the base building hunters raid. But I could be mistaken about that. So, not really sure. Not really sure about that. Alright, here we go, guys. Got a lock chest right here. Alright, pretty cool. This is where I built my base last time, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I built my base up there. So, either on that. I think it was on that rock face. Not last time, but the one before. All right, let's go ahead and get this, and let's hope for some sinew. Please give me some sinew. Uh, that's just cordage. No sinew. Awesome. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> oh, there's sinew in the lock chest. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I've heard stories of people getting a lot of sinew in the lock chest, and I've heard other people saying they've opened like 50 of them and haven't gotten anything. Obviously, they're probably um, exaggerating when they say they opened 50, but... Um, you know, it's going to depend, you know, the RNG is either going to be with you or it's not. So honestly, I don't really care too much about the sinew. I'd really like to get a grow light down, but other than that, eh, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll eventually get some, uh, some clothes built up and then maybe we'll kill some, we'll kill some, uh, cougars and, uh, we'll see where things go from there. Yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely where I built my last big, big series. My, uh, my last season was a very short, short one. Um, some games came up, and I kind of uh, had to call the series a little bit early. But my last big season, that's where I built up there. One of those rocks. And I think these hunters built in roughly the same place that time, too. i to be a little careful here. Yeah, they kind of built in the same spot. Uh, my last big, my last big uh, playthrough as well. It's kind of interesting. I think they build in random spots, but I, I don't know. We actually don't have a ton of cordage like we did last season either. Last season, I had plant fiber coming out of my freaking ears. Um, and it was it was pretty crazy. Like, I was actually uh, making the plant fiber into bricks to cook in the uh, wood-burning stove. That's how much plant fiber I had. Uh, this season, I'm not, like, low on plant fiber. It's not, like, a problem. But I don't have a lot of it either. I'm kind of, like, um, getting a good amount of plant fiber. Not too much. Not too little. I think it's a good spot where, where it's at. Oh, I thought I heard something. It actually sounded like a cat. Like a mountain lion. But I might just be hearing things. I hope I'm hearing things. Yeah, let's be a little careful here, guys. Be a little quiet. A little cautious. A little careful. Honestly, there's nothing we really need a lot of. I mean, we need nails and we need some other things. But there's nothing we absolutely have to get right now. And, like, I'm really looking for... Um, I'm kind of killing time for my electricity to come back. To be perfectly honest. Um, I probably should use some, I probably should use some, uh, some biofuel. I like to save biofuel though. I'm going to need a lot of it at some point. Like, <laughs> like there's going to be times like later on where I'm going to need a lot of biofuel, especially now that I, because you need the sinew to make the, um, to make the, uh, the solar panels. Oh yeah. I'm going to need a lot of biofuel. I got to be careful with it. I got to be careful with it. Anytime you use biofuel when you are under 500 electricity. I always feel like you're kind of wasting a little bit because, you know, you can't, you can't, now that you can't make solar panels without sinew, and I'm not going to get sinew for a while, I'm pretty sure of that, um, you know, using, 
using biofuel is the only way for me to get above 500 electricity. So, yeah. Um, gotta be careful with that. Let's grab some of these as well. I feel a little scared here, but I think we should be okay. My mind tells me that a lot of animals have already been spawned in. So I should be okay coming through here. Uh, well, there's a wolf. Honestly, I could kill the wolf. I probably would if I, um... If there wasn't a bear right there, too. I read on the forums that, uh, somebody said that, uh, the shotgun does 100 damage. And that's not true. Because I, I killed the level 3 wolf yesterday, uh, while grinding in between videos. And he had 105 hit points and I one shot at him. So... Uh, the shotgun does more than 100 damage. And there, as far as, far as I understand, there's no, like, headshot multiplier or anything like that. So, it's not because I got a headshot. Although, I can, you know, this is just stuff I hear. I don't know for sure. I should probably ask cold games. Alright, let's be a little careful here. And let's get back to base. We got a wolf over there to the right. I don't think there's... A, oh. I thought I saw a hit point bar over here. Yep. Is he in the water? Oh, he's close. He's taking a drink. So you gotta be careful, like, even in, like, real life survival situations. Alright, so he's gonna follow me. So I think I'm gonna kill this son of a bitch. One shot. 105 hit points. You should have walked away when you had the chance there, Wolfie. I don't know what you were thinking, but I'm going to die on your flesh tonight. It's good to kill one wolf a day. One wolf a day keeps the hunger away. Alright, so we got a bear over there. I thought I saw something else over here. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Bears are not worth the, the shells that you use on them. They're seriously not. Is that another one? No, okay. Alright, let's get back up here. All right, now well, I am back at my base. This is how I get in my base, by the way. <laughs> it's so convoluted. I'll deal with that later, though. Let's come on upstairs and see how our plants are doing. Oh, look at them! They're coming along. They're coming along. We need to get some fertilizer in there. We need to get some fertilizer. How's my hunger doing? Yeah, we really need to get those potatoes. Uh, potatoes, tomatoes. Let's do this. I'm not going to put the food and the, the meat in there just yet because I want to really pay attention to it. And I don't really need it right now anyway. Let's go ahead and eat this. And let's go ahead and drop this in there. And let's go over here. There we go. 493. This is actually really good timing. Because we're at 493 now. We can get that um, power storage pretty soon. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this and this for the power storage. We're good there. Let's go ahead and put this stuff over here. Is that that? No, that's not iron. That is um, potassium nitrate. Well, potassium ore. <laughs> I play uh, Seven Days to Die, so that's, you know. Uh, well, we actually got a good amount of iron. That's really good, so we can make another key when we want to as well. That's really cool. What else did we get? Eh, not too much more. We got some gun parts. Oh, that's interesting. That is really cool. So, what? what can we make any other guns? Can we make the... Oh, I could probably... I think I have some more gun parts. Here. Yes, I do. I have enough to make the revolver. I just don't know if it's worth it. Um, and the rifle. Again, I uh, don't know if it's worth it. Well, I know the rifle's pretty good. I don't really need either any of these right now, though. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's go up here, and there we go. Power storage. We need a little bit more wood. Okay. Power storage. Very cool, very cool. We got some power storage now. All right, let's uh, let's grab some of this wonderful, wonderful ash. Grab a whole stack, and we're also gonna grab some water as well. I've got some water saved up here for the plant bed, plant grow bed, grow bed. This is it called a grow bed, right? Plant bed. Oh god, plant bed. I'm, I'm not gonna remember that. <laughs> I'll try, but I'm not going to. All right, I think this gives uh 22 uh water, so that should be um 69, 79, 70, 71. No, okay, 81. Wait, 59. 69, 70... 69, 79, 81. Of course, that, I was right. I, I said 71 because I wasn't... I don't know. Wasn't thinking straight. <laughs> but we were right. It, it's 22. Okay. Alright, let's put this back in here. Put this back in there. I actually got some water bottles uh, while I was grinding. In between... Uh, 
in between videos. So that is pretty interesting. I didn't think they dropped anymore. All right, let's go ahead and make some of that. We're going to keep the wood that we have. Do we have wood? Did we use all the wood or something? Or Yeah, I guess I did. Is that going to be enough for the night? Yeah, it'll be enough for the night. All right, well, let's go ahead and cook. Nah, I'll cook that after we're done with the video because I really want to pay attention. And um, when I'm talking, a lot of times uh, it's hard for me to, you know, remember that something's cooking when I'm talking to you guys and everything. It's why I usually burn stuff. You usually see it. I don't usually burn stuff on the f unless you guys are around. All right, so let's do this. So what we're going to do now is during the night, we are going to let our... We're going to let our electricity get up to 500. And then we're going to run the generator. And we're also going to run the... We're going to run the generator and we're going to run the mass fabricator. And I would like to get a workbench next episode. And you know what? I think I can do it. I think I can do that. I think we're looking at a workbench next episode, guys. All right, well... I think we're going to call this one here, guys. Uh, I think we got a lot done. This place looks really cool out here. I have to look, look around here and see how I really want to build out this base. Um, right now, I'm just kind of using it for survivability purposes. Um, there's not too much in the way of design, but I am kind of playing around with the building mechanics and trying to think of some ways I would want to design the base. And um, yeah, I think it's going to come out pretty nice. And with any luck, with any luck at all, we will be making the workbench next episode. And then, assuming nothing's changed, I think I can make nails at that point. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, take it easy.